Jerry, is it too lazy for me just to put that down as a perfect away performance? Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> um, yeah, listen, I, I, tonight I'm really pleased with my players, honestly. They, they, they deserve that. I'm, and I, I want to dedicate that to the players. I don't... No one else. All right. Thank, thank, thank. The away support was brilliant. Really good. I've got to say that. It always is when we go away from home. But, but credit to my players. They've, um, they've been brilliant. Honestly, we've we've gone through a little period where we haven't won some games of football. But for performance levels, and it's easy for me to say it now. We've won. We've been okay. Honestly, it's just been some key moments. You've just mentioned it there. We were unsure how good Max is because he's not had a lot to do because the defence was so good today. Honestly, the three of them were excellent alongside the wing backs. But going through the whole side, there's, they're all eight out of tens today come to Chelmsford who are flying honestly they're a good side Robbie's got them really going this season and um, tough place to come as you know we've never had a lot of joy here ourselves only that 4-3 one biggest win with, under me but probably for Bath City here 2-0 win um, and, um, and a convincing win and one that give us real confidence going forwards we're starting to get some bodies back having Cody up the top allows us to go and play the way we're playing um, we played the pitch as I said to you before played the conditions but the two goals are great footballing goals and two goals that we've worked on in training. So, especially the first one, Mark, the first one's a, a, a wonderful goal. And, um, yeah, I, I, I'm really pleased with my players. I'm, I'm going to repeat what I say. They, they deserve that. They give me everything they've got. They worked ever as hard in training. And, um, and I want to dedicate that to them because of their efforts they give me constantly. Never a bad time to score a goal, but when you get one so early here and it means that the game doesn't slow down, it makes it for a better spectacle. And then you had a Chelmsford had a few flurries going forward and then just nicked it the second one as well. You soaked up all that pressure and then just sealed it and it was a comfortable final few minutes. Yeah, and I knew the changes were going to be important today because of the way we played with athleticism, with um, with loads of legs. You're doing, having to do lots of work. Um, we were aggressive with our wing backs. We worked on that on Thursday in training to stop their full backs delivering balls in, but they're going to put stuff in. You come under pressure from set pieces because of the, the height of the centre back and Winfield. And obviously, they try and load it in far post. And then when they go on, we know that every time they get the ball, they're going to have runners going forwards. And um, they cause a lot of problems. It helped that I went and watched them at Hungerford on Tuesday and I freshened the lads up, give them a night off. Um, first goal's brilliant, honestly. James Morton gets in, he's, he's hitting some really good form. Him, lines in and spokes who were very good in there as a three. Great pass out to Dan Hayfield. We worked on getting our wing backs really, really high, making runs from out to in as well. Um, so I'm pleased that that's come off the training ground, that one. They've, um, and there's crossed in, Scotty, great touch, good composure, drills it in the bottom corner across the keeper, fantastic finish. And then the second one, like you say, put on young Song, it's sunny up there. Scotty's done brilliant, but we know we're gonna have to use legs. And um, won it back for us, pinned, been ever so strong, delayed the pass to the right timing. And Tom Smith, who I put on to go in the centre midfield, I told him not to go forward too much. <laughs> um, runs forward, but in, not, not silly, hasn't gone beyond. So he's underneath it, lovely touch, and that's a Tom Smith finish. I'm, I couldn't be more pleased for him, honestly. We had a really good chat the other week. Wants to be here, wants to play for Bath. That gave him a load of confidence. Shot between the legs of the defender, asking players to do that a lot. And uh, the keeper's got no chance, drilled it. That's a really... Really fantastic win, really good performance. And um, yeah, let's hope we get some sort of atmosphere at Twerton on, on, on Tuesday, because that's so important to us, honestly. I, I speak about it a lot. Don't, whatever people's agendas may be, just come and support the team. If you're a Bath City support, just support the team. Whether you're one new up, three nil down, whatever, just support the team. And um, I, I, I love watching my boys today. I really did. I was so proud of them. You said about managing the workload, you call it now, because I think every you're playing every Saturday midweek until the middle of March, which I know you don't mind. You prefer mm. games to training. So is it all about managing the players and at least you'll have, for example, Dan Green State back in the yeah. week? Yeah, and we'll try and add another Joe Reigns as a way um, from the group in regards of being able to be fit. We can't get to the bottom of it, so he's going to have to go back to the doctor. So I'm probably going to have to add someone in. Dan Hayfield's done brilliant at wing back for me, but it's not fair on the lad um, playing there constantly. He's probably our best performer at centre midfield before he had to go out and Joe was injured. So, And he's done brilliant today, by the way. As I said, that ball for the goal was great and the position he got himself in. Even his pressing, understanding where he's got to go high in the first half. Managing the game. I sat down and took, took a lot of observational stuff today from it. I knew they're good enough. I knew the boys had all the information. Um, and I was confident going into the game. I said to you on the way up, I was really confident about coming here today. I knew we could beat them. And um, it's no mean feat that, honestly, this is a good result. Hopefully it's the start of a good run. I said we've got an opportunity because of the games to have a really, a really, really positive run and see where it takes us. And um, yeah, we'll try and back it up on Tuesday if we can. There's no guarantees in it, but we'll have to, we'll have to have a little look at Hampton, pick a team. Um, 
have a look, watch back, and pick a team that's appropriate in legs, in physicality, and, and technically and tactical, tactically, we have to be right in that game. We're not, we're not always going to be able to win games in the first 10 minutes, um, but hopefully we can get off to a good start. Hopefully there's a good, like I said, there's a good spirit around the place. That's what I want, a good spirit. But in the group, I've got, I've got, I've got such a wonderful group. Honestly, those boys are so good in there, so good. And um, I said to them, I've dedicated to yourselves, dedicated to yourselves, and um, and be proud of how they performed today because they were brilliant. Yeah, you mentioned the defence fairly because I think all year they've been really commendable. Max Harris, uh, one save I think in the second half. We haven't mentioned Kieran Parcel much actually. That the captain. I mean, what's his influence like on, on? He was man of the match last week. He did a difficult interview because we'd lost the game. He mm. seems like a steadying influence ahead of what you class as mm. such a good group. He's such a consistent person first and foremost. So really steady. Will take any information on. He's one of them that you can um, give a little bit of a rollick into at times because you know he's going to take it. But he's 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 great. He's a captain and he's a leader. I've got to say, Jack Batten also is in probably the best form I've seen him for a very long time. Jordan Dyer, best game I've seen him play for a long time as well. All three of them were brilliant, and they're good lads. Kieran is our captain, like you rightly say. But they all should take the plaudits alongside Max, real steady keeper, great lad. Comes in and trains with us. Looks so solid today. Um, and I thought I thought the wing backs, Elliot Freer was excellent again over there at left wing back, asking him to do that role. Dan is not around. Um, so yeah, there's competition places now also. So we're gonna have to play well to be in the team and stay in the team. And um, good lads, good leaders. We've signed some really good players this season, honestly. The, the, the thing we've got to try and do is keep them all together. When you get to this period of the season, it's, it's thinking about how we keep the group together as well, because we threw a hand grenade into the group because we had to. It's a pretty new group. If you look at it, it's all fresh. So going forward, only three or four played it from the last game. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to have to we're going to have to um, think about that as a football club at some point, trying to keep them because they're all assets to us as well. And there'll be people watching them and people looking at them because they're all good players. Um, so yeah, really pleased for the group. Honestly, that that's pretty much where I want to finish it, Mark. I, I, I tonight, it's not it's not about me. It's not about anything else at the football club apart from my players. They deserve all the plaudits, and I hope they get it um, because they're the ones that go out and took took all the information on and, and give us everything they've got for the Bath City shirt and they should be they should be recognised for that and um, I certainly I recognise it and hopefully everyone else does. Yeah, we'll sign off on that happy note and we'll see you again on Tuesday. Well done for tonight. Thanks.